Hey, good morning. Um, just getting to working out. I uh, so I was thinking about stuff this morning. This idea came to me about the pretender, um, about who I'm supposed to be, who I'm trying to be, who I'm uh, trying to show the world I am. And it came, it came up in conversation last night with some friends. Is uh, I often I get inspired with my friends and family and people around me every day. Um, but it was really neat to uh, have this interaction and this idea of, of a pretender. Like I, uh, I spent my whole life trying to be somebody different, right? Like denying myself all the time, denying myself that I was hungry. You know, I would, I would starve myself because I wanted to lose weight. Denying myself that I was tired. I, would deny, I, would, I would, wouldn't sleep because I thought I was gonna miss something or um, I thought I had to work to do what I needed to do and I couldn't go to sleep. I had to be awake more hours than anybody else on planet Earth. Um, I denied myself all kinds of things, you know? Uh, and so when I went out into the world, I was, I was never honest with myself first. I wasn't ever honest with God. Um, and so when I went out into the world, of course, I felt like a different person. I felt like a pretender because I was. I never, I never knew who I was because I never got, had time to spend to be honest with myself. It's so important for me now um, to be able to check in, you know, and honestly, thoroughly say who I am, where I am today. And like right now, you know, I'm breathing heavy, I'm sweating, but I can check in with myself and say, I know it's tough, but you're okay. You know, that's, that's part of the, the growing process is learning that it's gonna be difficult sometimes, but I can still move forward through it. Um, and honestly checking in with my body and saying, am I injured? Am I hurt? Can I not move forward anymore because I have a, a disability of, of body, mind, or spirit? Um, like yesterday, I'm starting all these new things and I was tired. It was two o'clock in the afternoon and I w was absolutely worn out. You know, and part of me was like, well, you need to stay awake. You got more work to do, you gotta stay awake. You got writing, you got all this stuff you gotta do. I didn't know, you know, I, I listened to myself. My body was exhausted. I could feel my mind starting to slip. I could feel the anger creeping in. Um, so I gave myself a break, you know, and I took a nap, I took a 30 minute nap. God forbid, right, that I, I take a nap. I work from home. I uh, have a chance to do what I love, write and, and talk to my friends and, and do this YouTube channel and stuff and, and uh, blog and all this kind of cool stuff. If I'm tired, I should take a nap. If I'm hungry, I should eat. If I'm sad, I need to let that stuff out. I need to cry. Um, if I'm excited and happy, man, get out there and do something, right? Like, every morning I wake up, usually I'm kind of like tired, and, but I'm excited about life. And coming into the gym, working out, gets me fired up to keep going. Um, so there's a lot of cool things we can do, you know, if we just listen to ourselves. Um, and being, being honest and open, learning who we truly are. It gives me the ability to face the world. You know, no longer afraid about who I am or what I'm about. Because I know now, because I spend time every day practicing, talking to God, talking to my friends and family, people in my program, um, about honestly who I am and what I'm feeling. And that gives me the confidence to walk out in the world and face people I don't know and uh, not pretend anymore. And that's a freeing feeling, not having to pretend, because it gives me the ability to serve the world now from a place of hum humility and honesty. And I think serving the world, serving other people, and serving God, there's no higher calling on earth, at least for me. There's no higher calling for me, because it's about an abundant universe. That's all I got.